Hello, welcome to Morris Money, where we give you stock tips in under five minutes. I'm your host, Morris Willie. Today, we're talking about DD delisting from the U.S. stock exchanges. Now, Friday, we know that DD fell sharply off of news that they were planning to delist from the New York stock exchanges to pursue listing on the Hong Kong exchanges instead. Now, we know that shares of DD have been hammered time and time again by regulatory concerns. And this time was no different with shares dropping 22% during the day. The company said Friday that they will delist from the New York Stock Exchanges immediately and begin preparations for a separate listing in Hong Kong. The US shares are to be converted into freely tradable shares on another international exchange according to the statement. The delisting will mark an end to DD's short-lived time on the US exchanges. Investors will now be hoping for a smooth transition from DD being a U.S. listed company to a Hong Kong listed company, but details on how this will go about are really unknown. The move by DD to go ahead with the delisting at least rules out the risk of it being forced to do so by regulators. But DD is just one of many Chinese stocks that have been beaten down by regulatory concerns. One of many stocks I like to look at is Alibaba. Now, I've been looking at this company for a long while, and fun fact, before we started Morris Money, I held Alibaba, and actually the first time that regulatory concerns hit Alibaba, I sold off what I had at a thin profit. I think I just about broke even on it. And ever since then, it's been slowly moving downward, and I haven't found a time to buy back in yet because, granted, I thought that $160 was a great place to buy in at, but now we're looking at $111. So what's to say that we can't see Alibaba at an even greater discount, but at this point, I would even call it a discount. You're buying in with risk that we could see even sharper downtrend on these stocks, and Alibaba included, but we could see a greater downtrend on these stocks and there's no telling when China could put out another statement or there could be news about delisting or any other regulatory concerns. I think overall, this just brings an end to a troubled stock that even I have made a couple videos on talking about if you should buy it or not. Because honestly, a couple months ago, when we first started hearing concerns, I thought it might have been a decent company to invest in. But we have never seen an end to the turmoil with DD. So let me know below. Did you hold DD? And what are you doing at this point? Because it's not looking good. Please don't take this video as financial advice and thank you for watching Morris Money.